how <laughs> you know are you thinking about starting a YouTube channel or just being a digital content creator but on a tight budget today I'm going to be reviewing potentially the ultimate vlogging kit as they say today I'm going to be reviewing Boer ultimate vlogging kit hey everyone so back to the review this is the Boer ultimate vlogging kit and as you can see from the picture right here it does come with a HD microphone a bracket to hold the microphone a 50 LED light a phone or action cam mount actual table tripod or they call it a hand grip stabilizer and a wireless remote shutter. I particularly shutter. won't be using the wireless remote shutter. Now the reason why I picked this up was just a comparison to on smartphone vlogging kit. Now this one's a bit more expensive compared to that one. I'll put the price somewhere here and I wanted to do a quick comparison as to quality, build and all those things. Same thing with this particular vlogging kit. With this particular kit it is versatile. It's great for vlogging, live chats, video chats, social media so if you're doing a lot like reels and things like that and you don't want to hold your phone and you just want to use this perfectly fine and live streaming another good thing about this particular setup is it has a 50 led light it has diffusers for colors so it is not an rgb light by any means it does have three uh, modes for it for white light now as you know i'm very big on audio audio and video have to mesh together you know 50 50 so this one has a microphone and i want to see how good it was compared to the on now even though even though this is a bit more expensive than the on this is still affordable which for me sometimes means cheap parts and cheap quality i mean not cheap affordable is it affordable quality fine more you know cheaper quality products compared to like a Rode video micro like what I have on here or something like this Movo that I have on here but you are the ultimate judge you are buying this with your money so I'm gonna do a quick unboxing of this particular unit so let's go over quickly what you are getting in this particular setup right here these are the diffusers right here now the diffusers they feel very hefty they're not like flimsy which I really like which I will test this out later you get your charger right here you get the 50 led light right here but however i mean for what it is it is plastic it is very light but it is still plastic it is very light i don't know how powerful it is but it this can be fragile durability wise i don't really know at this particular moment but hopefully it'll be better i believe for your shotgun micro here let's put that to the side this is your mount this is your mount I might be able to repurpose this pretty cool now this is your sh your your shotgun mic so you have two choices phone or camera right there you have your table or tripod I call it and or your stabilizer and this is your remote right here, which is cleverly placed in there. That's pretty cool. Uh, feel wise, it does, it's not. Now, this compared to my man Frodo, totally different things. This thing feels solid right here. It feels like more dense, honestly. This right here feels a bit hollow. I would have to, and I was correct, it's a bit hollow because of whatever however that however these are ha like used right here in the inside right here and then we can twist right here we have a 360 ball joint right there okay we'll play with that later and then you have your holder you have your holder for the light for the microphone and your phone goes right in here in the middle there now what we are missing Oh boy, I don't see it. We are missing. I don't know where it is. The phone action mount. Because I don't see it here. Nothing left in the box. Oh wait, is it cleverly hidden in here? There it is. 
Uh, that is pretty cool, Bauer. You cleverly hit it in there. I was almost tricked. But let's put this all together, and from there, we'll do some vlogging. So I'm going to put this together real quick, and first impressions of touching it and feeling it, it is plasticky, obviously, for the price. But most, um, even higher-end units are plastic, but you can feel the difference in plastic. This one, you can feel the difference in plastic. Let's just put it that way. Now, this is going to be... I, this, is, this isn't this isn't battery powered. Where does the battery go for this sucker right here? Okay. Okay. This is going to be taken... If you pull it to the side right here, there's a little side little situation there. And... You can see the minus and plus sign here, and basically you line it up just like most batteries or all batteries. We're just gonna line it up right there. Now, drawbacks, cons. I don't know where you're gonna get, this is not a really common battery, so just so you know. So, I I hope Bauer can correct that. Bauer, Bauer can correct that because this is, it's a bit off, you know, it's a bit weird. Okay. Okay, it only turns on. I don't know if you see this. It only turns on when I put it onto camera. But if I put it to phone, that's odd. I don't know if you see that right there. I if I'm I'm going to I'm going to put it on the phone mode. I don't know. I don't know. So that might not be a good look. And another con is it doesn't come with adapters. 3.5 adapters to go to the it doesn't come with 3.3.5 millimeter adapters to go to the phone so you would have to get your own adapters to put it to an ios device unfortunately and we're gonna secure that wow <laughs> yo that's pretty bright okay I see now the light has um the light does have a charger here which is probably for this it's it's so well hidden it's so well black I couldn't find it right so just forgive me but you can charge this it's, it's uh you can charge it with a US a traditional USB adapter uh these are your filters which can be put on right here from the bottom and then put on just like that this is pretty cool right here. The fact that you can put it on and have it a bit um, diffuse a little bit. Uh, if you, I guess if you want a warmer setting, we'll, we'll play around with that. Let's just set it up first. The true test here, oh, oh. the true test here is uh, putting my phone in and taking it for a spin. So there we go. There you have it. This is your setup. Those are my snacks. And this is the hotel mess. But here we go. Perfect. Because I am too lazy to uh, take off my DSLR. All I have to say is if you're, if you're working with a larger phone, I find that you have to really put it at the very end to fit this configure right, con configuration right here. Just saying. Okay, so... Uh, I pretty much have it on the stand right here on the Bower Ultimate Vlogging Kit. The setup looks very clean, looks very professional, honestly. I have really nothing to say, like I have really have no cons about that. Literally, this thing looks like a legit little setup. The light is amazing for the, um, for the setup. If you were never going to buy anything or everything breaks, just having the light is, is pretty good. Whatever you're seeing right now is the lowest setting. 
So uh, let me go run through it real quick. So that's uh, that's that's like mid, and that's the highest setting. That that's pretty bright, honestly. That's pretty bright. Let's throw in the diffusers and see if it softens the light a little bit. So that's so that's the diffuser. That's the light with the diffuser on on the highest setting. So let me just. This is the lowest setting right now with the diffuser. And this already looks amazing. I'm kind of looking at my watch and seeing the a bit of the quality, and I like it. That's mid-setting, which will probably be on that setting, but the diffuser softens a lot, I think, at the present moment of just me looking at it right now. And but let me let me throw that off. Let me throw on another diffuser. This is I guess the warm diffuser. I guess this is their approach to warm. Right now, this is this their approach to warm? Yeah, this is their approach to a warmer look. This is still in the mid setting. Actually, I uh, like this a bit more than the, the white one. This one looks a bit more natural, I would have to say. Like, this is a pretty cool setup right here, right? This is a pretty cool setup right here. Now, let's try blue. I believe the blue is probably more than likely going to be more that cooler obviously cooler but I don't really see the necessity in the blue if you're diffusing it with a white already but I could be wrong I'm not a photographer uh, and this has a like, super cool feel like like cool vibe right here but this whole entire time I'm not going to be um, editing pro I mean a post edit on just a light situation so whatever you're seeing is pretty much what you're gonna more than likely experience with your own, with your own setup and everything, but yeah, let me throw it on to um. Yeah, that's a uh, pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I like this. Let, let's let's lock, let's rock with the uh, let's rock with that for now. Yeah, this this warmer setting is up. Uh, no, no, I was wrong. I was wrong. Let me. I do like it, but it, it might be a bit too red. Let's go with the usual white diffuser. Um, cons to the diffusers, maybe it might fall off if the plastic wears out, honestly. Outside of that, it's it's a good working situation. Now, whatever, whatever audio you're hearing, this is the Movo right now, the Movo dual microphone system. The review's gonna be somewhere up here. This is not the onboard microphone. Oh, this is not the microphone that it came with. I will find a adapter and hopefully put it together, and then hopefully you'll have a better assessment as to how it should sound on the microphone here. Okay, so so I think I might have figured it out with a with a button situation. It had a very faint red light. Now I don't know if this thing's picking me up. But the easiest way I can do or check is basically rubbing this thing and making sure that it's picking up. So tell me what you guys think about this particular microphone. Is it better than the on uh, microphone experience? Because I'm going to put the link up here somewhere. But what do you think about it? Like, is it picking up? Is it the, the biggest issue with the on focus one is the fact that if I were to touch it like just like this, you hear everything, right? You hear everything. So I'm gonna move it around to my comfort. I'm gonna get up and walk around for a bit. But literally, this is um, my biggest issue was every time I moved around and touched the the tripod and things like that, you would hear it. What do you guys think? Like, um, uh, is it picking up really good? Is it a really good uh, shotgun mic? A good portion of you guys are still into vlogging, which is fine. Or doing talking head videos that are more dynamic moving around things like that so what do you guys think about it? I'm gonna go to a darker part of the room and see what you guys think so this is more of the darker part and I'm checking on my watch as well what the whole look is potentially pre-edit so this is this is because I'm gonna do everything post edit but what do you guys think is it picking up everything does it sound hollow does it sound like tinny you know what I'm saying so please bear in mind that it is from Walmart there is, you know, this is an affordable unit, so you're not going to get certain qualities like the Movo and all the other stuff that you can get and spend a bit more extra money on. However, if this is all the money you have and this is the best you can get, is this a good enough P3 
piece to work with compared to the on focus uh, smartphone vlogging kit because this is it's almost like the direct competitor when it comes to price and probably quality it's a phone it's super light as I said before this thing looks legitimately like a pro system honestly and I'll be happy walking around with this I wouldn't be all weirded out and everything like that but that's just me so I'm gonna put it down check out the video and uh, see you there so this is going to be the front view of your video I totally forgot that um, as per the box a lot of people use a front camera because a lot of the front cameras are now really good cameras but honestly this with the lighting and everything it looks like a good camera um, I like it I mean my wife likes it over there look at her if you are not confused a bit I am all the time this I'm using the Movo right now I'm not usually I'm not using this one but however that microphone that's on here already is still a good phone honestly I might even be tempted to consistently vlog from this setup because I'm actually uh, really impressed with it honestly um, yeah because I rarely I rarely uh, use a front camera only because of lighting issues and obviously quality issues the rear camera is always going to be the best camera but I, I know a lot of people do reels and all those things like that so that's something that you have to you know counter for so this is the ultimate vlogger kit right here tell me what you guys think hey everyone so i hope you like the review on the Bower ultimate vlogging kit so i checked post edit what the video looks like as well as how it sounds like which is very important and I confirmed that with an adapter, with an iOS device, this thing does work. It does pick up better than the on-focus microphone, I feel, and I believe this is a better purchase than the on-smartphone vlogging kit. This, I believe, would be a really great entry-level system for those of you vloggers out there or people who want to do video conferencing. I think Bower did a good job minus this right here. I can't really say for the quality of it because price. However, for what it offers, I think it's a great deal. I really do. You can't really go wrong. I, I, I don't think so. Because you have the audio. You have the lighting. So for live streaming and or reels, everything this says on the box, I think it does hit all those points. Right? All the, the, the 3.5 millimeter adapter, that's my issue because I have an iOS device. But outside of that, this is a good setup. So I'm going to put the links down below if you guys are interested in purchasing this. But I would have to say, this is a good purchase. And I'll see you guys next time on the next review. Take care. Bye.